let's have a look at how we use these shade cards and colour wheels in actual pages in a journal. Here's a page I've completed using all of these shades, as you can see on here. One of the nice things about doing a page just in one shade is that it's easier to blend. All of these colours blend really easily together. And you can see I've managed to get darker areas here on the page and here. And I've also managed to build up lighter areas using plenty of white like this. I've also gone in back with the darker shades here to create extra texture and by using all of these different shades on one page you can still get real depth and texture on your page. We've looked at a page that uses just one colour on the colour wheel. Now we're going to look at a page that uses two or three neighbouring colours on the colour wheel and on this page I've gone from hot pinks right round to the yellows. These are neighbouring colours The neighbouring colours work really well together and I also find them really easy to blend together on the page. You can see I've got my light areas here, plenty of yellow, right through to my darker areas and hot pinks and oranges here and I've used the darker colours to build up some depth and texture to the page. At one time red and pink we were told never went together, don't wear red and pink, but actually red and pink work really well together. It's all about knowing the rules of colour and then being brave enough to break them. We've looked at a page that uses one colour on the colour wheel. We've looked at a page that uses neighbouring colours. And this time, we're going to look at this page here. This page uses opposite colours on the colour wheel, so pink to green. And here you can see I've got this lovely hot pink down to the green. This is slightly harder to blend the colours, you need plenty of white in the middle to blend those colours in. And look at how here I've used pink as a highlight on the green, and on the pink I've used green as a highlight. And that's opposite colours on the colour wheel. We've looked at a page that uses one colour on the wheel, neighbouring colours. We've looked at opposite colours. Now here's a page that's using a triangle. So taking shades of blue, pink and yellow. We see here blue, the pinks and the yellow. This combination of triangle is always gives really, really vibrant results on the page. You can see as well within each area I've still built up tones of colour. So I've got my darker blues in here. I've got even gone in there with bits of orange to darken and brighten up the yellow a bit. And then I've gone in as, with highlights of pink here as well but using a triangle of colour will get you really vibrant results every time.